Hi friends, thanks for joining me. Today I have a new process video for Hip Kit Club using the September kits. And I am going to focus on some of the die cuts that came with the kit today. And in particular, I'm going to start with the Pink Fresh Studio uh, Love You Always paper, which is from the Best Day collection. And it's a stunning paper. Um, with um, that simple circle and pretty flowers on the edge. And in fact, I think I'm going to use mine uh, upside down, so my flowers will be on the top left. And to make this something a little bit different, I'm using my X-Acto knife to um, just trim around that circle carefully, <clears throat> but not go all the way around. So it's going to stay in place, so I don't want to cut out the entire thing. So I'm skipping <clears throat> a little piece as I go, excuse me. And then my idea is to just have a piece of cardstock, that yellow cardstock peeking through. So rather than just being a plain old circle, I'm gonna just rough up those edges so that you'll be able to see the yellow card underneath. Now, if you wanted to try this for yourself, you could go more or less. <laughs> um, it's probably harder to go less, to be fair. Um, so, once that's in place, I can then just rough up those edges a little bit more. And I am going to sew those. So, I think I will use some floss, embroidery floss, just to add a little bit of detail to that circle it wouldn't be very helpful if I just use it as it is. <laughs> it does need a little bit of um, a designer touch, doesn't it, really? And I've used one of the Pocket Live cards there just to mount onto my photo. I don't do Pocket Live, but I really do love the Pocket Live kit. So there are lots of cards there for journaling, which is absolutely great if you're a scrapbooker rather than somebody who does um, Pocket Life scrapbooking but I tend to find there's gorgeous embellishments in that kit. <laughs> so it's not something you, you kind of uh, want to get away with. So I'm, I'm opened up the die cuts from the Pink Fresh Studio Best Day. And I think those are the die cuts that came from the main kit. And I did pull those out, let me see. No, those are the die cuts from the embellishment kit. And I'm just trying out a few different things just in terms of placement. It always takes a little bit of time just to get the basic structure correct. And these are the die cuts from the main kit. So again, I'm just deciding what's best really for the layout. The ones that came in the main kit, I think have rather more journal type and square type um, of die cuts. Whereas the ones that came in embellishment kit have more florals. Let's just have a look. It does actually say they're florals, does it? No, it just calls it ephemera. Anyway, both are absolutely stunning and pretty. <laughs> um, but it's just a case of what you can use for your layout. So those are the gorgeous puffy stickers or puffy title stickers. Also in the main kit this month. And that was a hip kit exclusive. I love, love, love those title stickers. But unfortunately, they just didn't quite go on this layout because it's very soft pinks and blues, whereas the stickers were more bright and vibrant. But I shall definitely be using those when I get the chance. So I love the background of this paper. Um, and I'm going to use that just to Double, let, double map my photo. So um, I'm going to take a break <laughs> and do that sewing and then come back to the placement of the die cuts. So as you can see, I've just put some holes and used some embroidery floss to do a little bit of cross stitch here and there. So a couple of cross stitches in two or three different places and then also on the outer border. But you'll see those on the close-ups a little bit better. 
So I'm going to get things stuck down because if I don't stick things down, I tend to procrastinate and then move things backwards and forwards and then never get anything done. And I am going to place this die cut over on the left hand side here, but I want some of those little leaves to poke up. So I've just cut a little slit to make that happen. And then when I get leaves and flowers from uh, the die cut packs, I do tend to try and uh, manipulate those leaves to give them a bit of dimension. So fold them down the middle, um, twist the leaves or the petals. And I, I just love that extra dimension that you can get by doing that. So some I am going to put on, excuse me, <clears throat> on foam tape. Um, and I'm just going to use one of those mauve die cuts. I'm not a mauve person, but I'm really liking mauve lately. <laughs> so um, because that stamp up in the top corner there is also mauve, I'm just going to um, fussy cut or go around with my knife around that little flower because I'd really like to tuck it in, uh, that little stamp behind that flower. And it doesn't quite fit without going wild, so I'm just going to snip off the corner. And again, I like to do that fussy cutting, just because I think it kind of grounds your elements a little bit more, makes it a little bit more integrated. So, um, I don't know, I've done it a few times before, on, you know, when you've got fancy pattern paper. So now I've got that mauve, I need a little bit more mauve <laughs> and I've turned my attention to the cardstock stickers from the Pocket Life kit. They're so pretty. Um, I love journal stickers. They're just, I don't do a lot of journaling, I'm a bit lazy. Um, so I do find journal stickers the way to go for me. And I like this sentiment, and um, but I do need to cut it up. And I'm also going to use one of the little um, rectangular stickers um, as a banner. But I don't want to stick it down all the way because I want the edges to curl. So I've just mounted that onto white cardstock. So it's like a die cut really. No. But I just like that little pop of colour. I know the, um, the coral colour is probably not quite pink, not quite yellow. But because it's in between, I feel like it still works. And it, what I was after is drawing the eye across the page. So maybe if we stop, start on the top left with those flowers, that you, your eye's drawn down to the bottom of the page. So really, it's just a case of embellishing now. I do end up um, putting some tangled thread. So... Top tip, remember to put your tangled thread down first rather than trying to tuck it in afterwards. Um, and then really, I think that's it all bar the shouting. Um, I'm going to leave you with the close-ups and some music. And thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed the layout. And I'd love to see what you do with this paper. So you can share that with us in the Hit Kit Club uh, group on Facebook. And if you like it, you could give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. And my name's Maura Cutts, and you can follow me on Instagram as Crap Cat. Bye now. Mm -hmm.